Hey everybody, it's pool season. Hey, I, I thought I'd do a quick share with you of something that commonly comes up here in Arizona. Uh, if you have a pool, because of those lovely things, which we all love, our green landscaping, our citrus trees. Um, if you have a pool, you probably have a pool cleaner. So what that means is your pool cleaner is probably gonna pick up some of that stuff occasionally. And uh, especially after like a big storm or the wind blows. And I'm gonna show you real quickly how to clear the most common kind of uh, pool vac that I think I see mostly in the pools here in Arizona, which is a Hayward pool vac. And there are many brands, but that's the most common one. So I'm just gonna turn the camera toward the pool vac. I've pulled it out of the pool already. And I'll just give you a quick tutorial about how to um, clear that debris that gets in there. Also, I wanted to show you some of my favorites. Little rocks like this. Oh man, these will jam up your pool cleaner in a heartbeat. Um, in my yard, I have two citrus trees. So a couple of times of the year, um, the citrus trees will shed these little immature fruits to just keep the very best of the best, but these things will absolutely jam up your pool vac. Um, here's one that's a little further down the road from last season, I think. And then sticks, little sticks. You'd be amazed what your pool cleaner will pick up. Does a good job, but it picks up pretty much everything. So let's take a peek at the pool vac and let me show you really quickly how to clear it. Super easy, shouldn't take you more than a minute whenever you need to do it. So let me make sure that we've got it in the sights there. I think that's pretty close. I'll pick it up a little bit. So first thing is you just pull it out of your pool. Just make sure that the um, pool motor isn't going. Otherwise, your pool motor is going to draw in a bunch of air and then it'll need to be primed again. So as long as the pool motor isn't going, this literally just gently pulls off that little hose off the top. You flip over your pool back and they almost universally have a one screw kind of a little cover, I'll call it, that opens up the internal parts Nothing's going to fall out except what you want to fall out, which is anything that's jammed up your pool back. Comes out pretty easy. Then it just slides out, or it should just slide out. I can have this one open in a bit. Oh, perfect. So here's a good example. Didn't jam this one up, but it could if I got a bunch of them in there. Leaves. More leaves. And you can just stick your finger in and pull this stuff out for the most part. And then with the uh, rocks and things that are in there a little further, you sometimes have to shake it a little bit. There's a little, and again, I don't know how well you can see that there's a little plastic impeller in there. You can just give that a spin with your finger and it will give you an idea if there's anything that's jamming up your system right now. This one's going free. You can hear the, the uh, bearings go. And then I'm gonna give it a little shake and see if anything else falls out of it. Looks like we're good to go on this one. And sometimes if there is something in there, you'll hear it rattling around. You gotta give it a couple shakes to get it out of there, but it's usually pretty easy to get whatever debris is in there out. And then it's as simple as just sliding that back in. There's usually a little guide that makes it super easy. Screw it back down. Put your hose back on. and just gently push it down on there good. Pro tip for you, get as much air as you can out of both your pool vac and your, um, uh, your pool vacuum line. I don't spend too much time on that part, but definitely out of the pool vac. And that'll make sure that when the pump starts up again, you don't have too much trouble getting your pool vac going again. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you have, enjoy your pool this summer. And uh, as always, if I can help with anything, you just let me know. Bye-bye for now.